Hey Gems, how you doing? This is Fee. Come and join me for my monthly whipping chat while I work on Josephine Wall, the square magical merry-go-round. I have 200 colours. I just bring this up here so that just show you this is the image that I am working on so yeah the Josephine wall magical merry-go-round 100 by 75 200 pieces and uh, square I'll pop that down the bottom just so that it can be seen when I very first tackle to Josephine wall I just did a little section because it was um, there were so many different um, how do I put it so many different uh, well, colors that I didn't want to do a big area so I was doing small areas um, with the round and then I learned that I needed to do bigger areas but if you actually look you can actually see here with the squares, they've actually done, is it two, four, six, eight, ten? They've done by 12 by 12 squares so that you actually can follow, if you want to follow a good line to work with. What I'm going to do is one, two, three, put that one at the big, at the higher setting. This is my, this is my. A3 um, light pad underneath and I'm going to do a square so that's 4 by 4 by 4, 4 by 1 I don't even want to do 4 by 4 I want to do bigger than that long side 1, 2, 3, 4 um, 1 1, 2, 3 1 yeah, four by four be four. And if I always cut on that line going across, next time I go for it, I'll still have that correct. Just lift that up. And do I want to do four by four? Yeah, stick to the four by four. It's still um i'll actually i'll leave that as it is i'll stick with the four by four at this stage and just fold that down uh cover minders that i've got uh both i made sally skeleton she's got a little gap in here up here which if i get any trash drills i'll pop it in there and the lollipop which i like to keep my wax in the ice not lollipop ice pop so I'm painting Deutschland their bag for their I can't remember what their square did or what their rounds were but in this one I get rounded um, squared off tweezers as well as drill pen multi-place it gosh multi-place yeah that that's a joke on these you should very rarely use multi-place on these I'm gonna put that away you get the, the, well, I call this a stopper now, but it is go, does go on the drill pen, but I will show you something that I do. So the one just basically rolls in there and fills it up. How's your month been? I don't know if you can hear it, but I have got a cold. Um, that ended up more than a cold because I didn't register that it was a cold. I just thought it was a really bad cough. Well, no, it did. I did register that it was either a cold or flu. Um, and I decided that I'd just, I don't know, work it out. <laughs> I took cold and flu tablets and I have now turned, it's now turned into a major cough. Plus, 
a sinus infection so greatly impressed with myself uh, I've had the last three four nights where I've slept on the couch because although I have gone to bed um, when Nathan's climbed into bed I've been coughing so much it's like well you're going to work and I'm not so I'll go sleep on the couch so that you get decent sleep yes I can be considerate sometimes so that's uh, I have been yeah been feeling like absolute crap I've uh, been put on a as I say a ship ton of uh, drugs um, I've got all sorts of stuff at the moment and hopefully I will be a lot better in the next couple of days today is I'm filming this early today is Thursday the 28th of July I'll publish this on the 1st of August so hopefully by the 1st of August when you're seeing this I'm <laughs> I've lost the cough and the yucky nose and all of that we will see we will see So one of the things that I was doing with the doing the monthly whip and chat is to go through comments, give an update on crafts that I've done and life events. <laughs> so not much in the way of life events has happened. I will cover those in a little bit. And we now have the pitter patter of tiny paws of mist, who may end up. What's it? Let's just put it this way barking at me. Oh, look at this. I am going to need a multi placer. I don't know if you can hear, but Misty's down here. Well, she's just gone. She's been chewing everything. But we will go through. <laughs> <sighs> We'll go through all the crafty stuff that I've done, um, the videos that I've put out. So that's where I'll start with first. So I'm going to go and onto YouTube Studio. Um, I'm going to go through my comments. Okay, so here we go. So where I'll go with is from comments that have been made. Um, published. I'm going to filter it by. No. Okay. So we'll work my way through. So, all with the monthly whip and chat that I did last month. So, Michelle's gone. Good to see you back. Have been dealing this. Looking forward to seeing you. Yay. Thank you, Michelle. Um, you guys that have been um, commenting, I do love your comments. Anna, Dion, DP's looking great. Can't wait to see the next charcoal drawing, which is out. And uh, Anna, yes, I know you've seen that. Kathy uh, said, busy fee. She can't see Sydney winning. Yeah, no, they didn't win the season. Oh, go on to that one. Um, Kathy's glad, so she's glad to see me back. And... Helen Whale, I think your diamond painting is gorgeous and I love your nails too. Thank you. The next one we go to where comment is when I unboxed the Cricut Maker. So the Cricut Maker is a new new toy for me. I might need to wax up that. Uh, yeah, the Cricut Maker is a new toy for me. I unboxed it. Um, I have actually discovered that there is a faulty part and I have contacted Cricut so we'll see what's happening there won't go into it but um, I sent an email to say you know this is what's going on and they send you an email back going okay give us a video clip with this 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 and send it through to us and we'll have a look so I finally got well enough to actually do it and so that's been sent off 
for them to um, have a look at the video footage. But I will admit I have been playing with it. Um, I have created something and the video is... Well, let's just say I started editing that video over a week ago and was supposed to be out. What's today? Thursday. It should have been out yesterday. But due to the fact that I haven't edited... It didn't come out because I was uh, not well. Okay. Um, and I think me being well is a uh, priority. As much as uh, you guys love the videos whenever I can. But um, I'll show you what I did make so you can keep an eye out for that video. Is I actually did this. I used the course um, that Cricut provides. They, there's actually a little course that they show you how to do it and yeah that's what I did rose gold tea on it on one of my coffee cups that I take to work so Anna's gone oh have fun with that wouldn't have any idea either what to do with it um, I've done some interesting stuff with it it's quite cool and I'll show you those shortly um, but you should watch a YouTube by the by the name Jennifer Maker She's all about cricket. Yes, she definitely is, Kathy. <coughs> I have been watching her. I did make something that from her one of her YouTube channels, um, which I will grab now. I didn't show the video. I didn't record the process. Um, oh, I need to glue it together a bit better. But I actually did make. Now this is using two millimeter chipboard. Um, a holder for all my tools that I have gained so rapidly um, but I haven't glued it together properly but use the rose gold to coat it and yeah very handy very very handy so yeah no I've, I've watched her videos she is phenomenal what she has what she's actually showing is uh, absolutely brilliant um, but yeah, I didn't do a video on that one because that was really tricky. Um, although I probably should have, but it's something that she shows you how to do. So I thought I won't do it, but I'll see if I can remember to put a link in if you want to actually check out how that's made for anyone that's in the cricket world that watches uh, me. Um, <laughs> Michelle goes, looks interesting. Can't wait to see what you make with it. Um, what else did she... Um, and Michelle, I sent Michelle uh, cover minders um, that she she's received, and so she would put it on there. Looks interesting. Can't wait to see what you make with it. And then I've responded back to her with the card and envelope you received were handmade by by the cricket. So I've done envelopes, little tiny little thank you cards, and that by the cricket, um, just as a little trial run. And then the next lot is. Next comment is on drawing up by diamond paintings. So that was brutal. I loved it when I came across that. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, I've gone back to the tweezers. Loved working. Whoops, lost one already. Um, love being able to have my diamond paintings stored like that in one place. Um, the the <laughs> oops, sorry, I just got a notification of overtime shifts. The um, portfolio itself costs like a hundred dollars and twenty dollars per sleeve. And I look at it going, yeah, it, it you know, it's expensive or inexpensive, depends on how you look at it and what your own budget is like. But to be able to store so many diamond paintings in one place, know they're protected and um, yeah, not, not bending them or anything like that. You know, no risk of damage to them while they're covered up like that. Um, that is invaluable. So um, i very happy when I came across those portfolios. And I will say it took me, I think, a couple of months of, do I want to, do I want to, do I, is it too much? And then it was like, you know, we spend so much money on diamond paintings that why not 
get the cover, get the portfolio and protect them because you know these ones here they although they won't fit but you look at some of the ones that we've got and you know my die moon ones you know the, the price of some of those and you want to protect protect them so i i've made the decision that yes it definitely was worth uh spending the 100 bucks on the portfolio 20 per sleeve 20 sleeve at uh, one sleeve because um about 20 bucks i think it was but that can cover that can do two three diamond paintings depending on what size you're putting on in, in the sleeve so yeah um Steph's got it saw these in michael's a couple of months ago decided to get one and store complete deep in but i was being cheap and waiting for a coupon looks like a great idea was planning to glue them down but that does look great yeah um and you can as 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 steph's got it said you, you you might think that it's expensive but when you look at the money you spend on diamond paintings and the time that you put into the diamond paintings isn't it worth actually um protecting you know the the stuff that you've done mm. okay so then on there i've got kathy's going how's the cricket cricket going and she loves the um storage holder and saying hi to me which i do love um someone's posted on josephine wall julia west very beautiful when finished yes i still haven't done a video to show you what it looks like finished it's good um and then julia's actually asked again whether it's square or round so that one's a round this one's a square and then the next one is from excuse me the next one is when i did the charcoal expressions earl's campsite um it's really funny when i do them because i love doing it love doing it um this type one i did huh the editing on that video oh my gosh that was painful because i used so the two angles on my camera on, my, the, on that video that you see were run by one computer but two different programs and one frames per second was different to the other so the sound actually didn't match up um, so I had a bit of fun trying to sync the audio up which uh, yeah it took a <laughs> I think I got it once and then turned around and the second and then I something happened and it didn't save and I lost like four hours worth of work of video editing um you know which normally wouldn't take me a lot that long to edit to get to the point that I was when I lost the data but it was still like so frustrating to go through but that that's uh that's what happens when you don't have yourself back in the swing of things and you've got to work how, work out how you used to do things to where that makes it work where you work smarter not harder but going through and finding all the music i used to use for the charcoal drawings was fun but hopefully you like the music that i use uh, when i do the charcoal drawings but uh, for the time that's it so comments on that one beautiful from anna beautiful so talented with those charcoal drawings not talented anna i'm just following an instructional video the talent is the rob who does the instructional video um that he explains it and does it so easily um and simply and you know when you've got you're going by things of measurements of this is you know you need to do it this much um you know you're going from seven and a half inches and five and a half inches and that's your point where this line starts and you're going down by three inches you know it's all measurements and all explained and um he does the workings you know he shows you well this is where the the light where the shadows are so this is your bright spot these should be your darker and he goes through and explains all of that in the videos so that's where you know the process is 
an easy one to follow because they make it, Rob makes it easy to follow. So yeah, um, Kathy, it's beautiful. Michelle, wow, another beautiful piece. Terilyn, I know Terilyn, you were hanging to see another one, and she goes another fabulous job. See, just love your charcoal drawings; they're absolutely beautiful. Thanks for sharing, sweetie. I will say on that charcoal drawing, like I've finished. Yeah, you, know, you do something like that, and you're so proud of yourself. So I finished it and I put it on the board and I've taken it out to Nathan and I've gone, look at this. And he goes, these automatic things, where are you going to hang that? <laughs> I said, it doesn't matter where, what I'm going to do with it. What do you think? He goes, yeah, it's a campsite. And I've just stopped and I've looked at him. I've not said a word. I've just looked at him and he's gone, you've done a good job. <laughs> so that's all I wanted. I just want to know that you... You, you know, that I'm sitting in my craft room and it's not just that I'm playing. Well, I am playing, but, you know, I am. I feel like I'm achieving stuff. But, yeah, you know, you're doing a good job. How about you finish that diamond painting? <laughs> you got diamond painters you should be finishing before you do anything in you. And he's someone that you start a job, you finish a job, but... Uh, I learned a long time ago with large diamond when I work because I work on large diamond paintings. You can't just work on one diamond painting. You need to be able to take a break from it because it just gets um, can sometimes be a bit daunting if you don't take breaks from things like that. As I say, a change is as good as a holiday. Okay. Right, so that's those ones. And then um, Fee from Oz. Um, on the video, I'm moving back into my craft room. Hey, Fee, great to see, see you back, my friend. Thanks for that, Fee. Um, Fee was one of my lucky winners of a um, diamond painting a while ago. So, yeah, Fee's actually, she's actually in WA. Tracy, if you're there, hello, where are you? Have you settled in? Um, <laughs> and Tracy, if you are, are listening, you know which track, you know who I'm referring to. Um, hopefully Puppy is all settled in at your place after the quarantine because that was quite a while ago. Okay. So that's gone through the comments. Next I'll go through some of the things that I've done. So as per the video, I did the charcoal drawing. I did this cup which is coming out in a video soon coming to a video channel near you i should say i have played with the resin bookmarks which is something that um if you actually see the light shining on that i didn't do a good job but this is one of the things i want to put in the in the etsy store is where i do you know book work i do bookmarks and i can personalize them this I have the three different sizes and um, yeah I can put like, like I did that is actually from the Cricut and that is one without anything on it but as you can see with my learnings um, oh, I will say it's bent because I haven't had them sitting flat uh, let's see if I can get the reflection to show yeah down here I coated with UV resin. I once I put that I did the bookmark and then I put the print on and then I coated with UV resin for doming, um, which I don't actually like the process of. So which is what's caused okay. You can actually see how that there and that there. So it hasn't coated properly. But this is what it's all about, is learning how to do the process. So they were done, um, which I wasn't happy with, but at least I've learnt some things about it. What else have I done? Um, okay, now I'll put a picture in here. I did um, this this for both sides of my car, which is the stickers. Um, <laughs> so they're on the uh, side windows of my car. Um, 
idea. I just saw it and liked it. Uh, I thought, well, I'll try and create those. Now I made them with, not with vinyl. Well, I did use vinyl, but I used H HTV vinyl. For those of you that have crickets, you'll be going, oh, you're an idiot. You shouldn't have done that. So HTV vinyl, um, well, that bounced back. Sorry, um, is a heat transfer vinyl. So you use it and you use that to, um, to you heat press onto things, not um, not for cold sticking on. So I should have just used normal vinyl for that. So that doesn't matter if it comes off, it comes off. It's all learning. Um, but yeah, heat transfer vinyl should have been done for like if I was putting an ironing onto a shirt or something like that. But you learn, you learn. Eventually, learn what you need, what what means what. <laughs> um, as I say, the I also did the holder that Jennifer Maker shows how to make, and that's using two millimeter chipboard. So that was pretty cool. Got the cutting blade and and made that, which was interesting process um i got all sorts of ideas about what i could do with that and then i went stop getting ideas you have enough ideas with everything you already want to do with it stop thinking of more yeah so <laughs> we'll see we'll see but i will admit that i have been playing with that i will what else did i do i did for those that have followed me on my budget journey, if you saw me with the budget journey of things where I went onto the cash envelope system, yes, yeah, still doing it. But what I have actually done is, and I know it's pretty hard to see on these ones, these are made with cardstock from and using the Cricut to do everything, including the hole. So I did a lot of measuring up and I've managed to work out how to make the envelopes and even use little velcro dots to keep them shut so i've made a template for those i did create labels and pretty hard to see on this if i go to the other ones that i made which is my thinking funds you can see that what i did do is um I created stickers, I did print and cut stickers, did my labels. But yeah, I created the envelopes so that I just run them through the machine now. I could probably do print on these, um, but I want to try and, I've got to work out a, a print that I like. And yeah, just the, yeah, that's my dental money, <laughs> camping money. But yeah, so that's, I've managed to do that. So I now have, but if anybody has a Cricut and they want the file that I've created, um, the sizing is not that. The sizing that I've come up with is this size, which is slightly bigger than this one because it only just holds my, um, um, and it just holds um, my notes, whereas I made it bigger to give me a bit more space. Okay, so that's where I've been. That's where I've been with the Cricut. I haven't done any more resin work. I actually have to get to and order more resin. I have chewed through resin. Actually, I did. I did do some resin. I did a resin jar. Um... I have got bubbles in the resin. That's glitter stars. There's the lid. Um, and I actually put a magnet in it. Now the magnet was not strong enough. But the plan was with this was to have the magnet in here where it can actually magnetize to um, like some of my metal range hoods so that just sticks to it. And I could have it for different herbs. Um, that I use in the kitchen but the magnet wasn't strong enough so I've got stronger magnets now to give it a go but I put Misty's dog treats in there if I turn it that way you can actually see 
the glitter that sunk the stars so glitter sinks in resin um, so that gave me a pretty little lip and a very sturdy jar so uh, I did actually, <laughs> I was actually just this morning I was watching a live um, with Crashly was doing a live and she'd done this with two, with UV resin and I'm like going, oh my God. And as she said, it's a lot of resin um, to use, especially if it's two, UV resin, that's a lot of resin. But that was two part epoxy, not too bad. Okay, so... Um, I'll share with you some interesting little, um, little videos that I've got and pictures. So first one is, uh, Misty, Misty graduated puppy preschool. Um, so this is her little graduation photo. I'm just popping in here for you. Um, and then I will show you. So. Obviously, being a shift worker, I need to sleep during the day. And Misty uh, very much enjoys the fact that I'm there and I'm sleeping during the day. And she tends to be a bit of a pain in the ass, <laughs> to say the least. So a little bit of footage, video footage here of her in bed with me. Well, not in bed, but on bed. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I've woken up and this is where she was and then she just annoyed the hell out of me. Ah, she is beautiful. Do love her. The love is getting stronger for her. It's going to take a while to love Misty. For, for me to have the affection I have for her. Do you want me to get out of bed? Also. I think that's Do you want me out of bed? In that puppy stage still. Where she is chewing everything. I get there and I continually, I keep comparing doing? her to Bo, and there shouldn't, Look, I shouldn't do it. Poo. However, yeah, no, it's confusing. Um, Bo was never a digger, so he never does. Okay, bones. up he time. He wasn't one for bones or burying bones or anything like that. Um, you know, so to compare the two like that is just ridiculous. But, oh, my God, a digging. Oh, my God, the digging that she does. And then... I do that when I get to and I vacuum and clean the house and there's I found little the raw hide bones that we give her um you know that she we watch her she chews and chews and chews and then like we can't find them and I found that she started burying them in the in the seats of the couch so that was a mission and a half I went through all the couches and all the gaps to try and find them oh my god the amount that we'd found so they ended up going in the bin so that uh, you know, I'd had enough of them um, and then this morning she actually came in I saw her come in with something in her mouth and she's gone straight to one of the spots where I've pulled something out and I've gone and she's She's buried something else in there. So she's dug it out of the garden and buried it in the couch. And it's like, oh, no. So that one ended up in the bin. So, yeah. Quite an interesting process. I've never I've never had a dog that dug. Well, I mean, I've had not really. Bo was my first real dog. Misty's my second. All the other dogs that we've had as I was growing up were not mine so I didn't really and I was only a real young kid so I didn't see the growing up stages so I spoiled with Bo because he was an old man right from the start but yeah so yeah that's uh what we did <laughs> always shopping for her finding her treats um discovered that the not my nearest cave, not my nearest Coles, but a Coles in Allenbrook actually has a snack bar. So we, where we are, we can you can do a, a scoop and way type thing of different snacks like your nuts, like cashews and almonds and all sorts of stuff like that. Well, this Coles that I went to in Allenbrook 
they actually had the same thing for dogs. So here's a picture of that, which I reckon is really cool. Um, yeah, expensive. But I, I took a picture. It was like I had to had to take a picture and show, show Nathan. And he was like, yeah. Um, he's like, oh, well, that will eventually come to our coals. I doubt it. I hope not. <laughs> um, but yeah. What else has happened? I'm going to stay on the misty front. We, oh. Now we get, you know how you get meal boxes, meal deliveries like um, here we get HelloFresh and Dinnerly and things like that. There's, we did one for, we trialled one for um, dogs. So for Misty we got what was called a wolf head box. Um, and we cancelled on the second meal. Actually, no, we cancelled on the third meal because the pack actually had um, not much variety, but it had three chicken meals and a roux, a lamb and a beef and a fish. And she didn't like the, she didn't like the chicken. She didn't like the fish. And I was like, well, yeah, we, she just, when she turned up four out of the, seven yeah she turned her nose up on four of the seven that were give that were in part of the, in the in the delivery it was like okay no nah, we're not doing that again so hopefully somebody else has uh, gotten it and their dog loves it but misty no she she did not like it we've discovered that she doesn't like chicken she likes oh she likes raw chicken but she doesn't, yeah, she, she's just fussy on how her chicken is. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Um, what else? I, now I'll go with my Jeep. So my Jeep, um, I'm part of a, well, I'm part of quite a few Facebook groups that do Jeeps. Um, there's one of the ones in Perth that I'm part of, and they put out there, someone put out saying they were looking for, Someone with a, the new model JL Rubicon jet, two door Jeep, so that they they do seat covers and they wanted to measure. Um, so they had a had the pattern so that for for the so that they had a pattern. Yeah. Anyway, um, they I turned around when I've got that car that you want. So I've actually had them. They've come out and measured my car uh, car seat. They are making the pattern. And when they have actually made the car seats, they're going to bring them out to me and fit them. And they are mine to keep. So because they're using my car as um, for the measurements, yeah, they, they um, for, the, for the benefit of using my car, they've given me their car seat covers um, for, for nothing. Well... I don't know. Do you call it for nothing when they get it something out of it? Um, anyway, the it's black duck seat covers. They've been in Australia thirty five years. The company has existed for thirty five years. It's actually a West Australian company. Um, so yeah, they came out and measured up, and yeah, I'll eventually get free seat covers. Turned around and told someone at work about it. Um, actually, no, I didn't tell them about it. It was. I had their website up, so I was looking at what I was getting, um, and I had their website up, and uh, one of the guys I work with who you know, gets into the four-wheel driving, he's got a big four-wheel drive, he turns around and says, oh, black duck seat covers, you're taking out a loan for those? <laughs> Apparently they're pretty expensive, but top quality, they are top quality and to be able to get you know a product that's west australian you know is really good um so yeah uh, i'm getting really 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 good seat covers apparently by a really reputable company okay for nothing um so that's that side of things i will take a picture i actually straight here i have my cup and 
I've been talking for mm, over half an hour. And my coffee's still warm. I have discovered cup warmers. Yeah, they keep my coffee warm while I'm doing stuff. So I have, I don't know how many times I've ended up having to throw out coffee that's so cold or I've drunk cold coffee. This little cup warmer has made all the difference to me. Yeah, I can forget that I've got a coffee there and then go, oh, that's right, there's a coffee there. And it's still warm enough to drink. <laughs> it's great. Um, so yeah, on the little bit on the family front, Misty is um, now over 16 kilos, heavy little pupper. And she now has a towel in the craft room that she's allowed to sit on. So she actually does, she's still demanding and barks at me when she wants some serious attention. But she, uh, she also knows that she can come in and sit on the towel and she'll go to sleep there now, So which is really good. I'll get her trained up eventually. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Um, but I've got some footage of her. Little, quick little spurt of her having a zoomies this morning. Oh my god, she's got the zoomies. Scary funny, but yeah. Oh my god. She will... I, I'm expecting her one day to actually headbutt and go through the glass sliding doors. So that's that's how uh, funny but scary it is to watch her. Um, so yeah, that's the misty front. She's graduated and she's getting really big. Okay, now I'm just moving on to using a drill pen. Now I don't know if anybody's seen this. I use been using a quick stick. Um, which I do love the quick stick, but I'm trying the new, trying the pick me up pen as well. Um, it's a different glue. This will be my third quick stick. Um, I find that I am wearing down the plastic tip on the end because I press so hard. So while well, we're seeing how this one goes, which I'm about to use now. Um, because when I use tweezers, I do the tweezers for um, to do, you know, to do checkerboard, and I fill in with um, when I use it with a pen. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's Misty, who's just walked in now. She's just come in to say hello. Nathan's doing good, working, nothing's changed with him. Nothing ever changes with him. Leon is in Queensland and searching for rental. So he's got his contract for his new company he'll begin working with, I think, in February as a graduate position. Um, so he got the contract, but he's just been given a pay rise already before he even starts. So something's happened, I don't know. A good thing um, but uh, struggling to find a rental so that's the big uh, thing at the moment is rentals are scarce all over Australia doesn't matter where you are by the sound of it he wasn't I don't think he was expecting to be applying for so many rentals and getting so many rejections you know like I spoke to him yesterday and he goes I oh, got rejected twice today and three times a day before you know so he's really looking hard for a rental but um yeah not able to get not able to get into that get his foot door unfortunately so he will eventually he will eventually so not much i can do about it i can just be there and you know, it's like listen to him when he's yeah listen to his his him with his struggle of getting it find, trying to find a place uh, um so i think that covers about everything work-wise uh well i mean i've just had two days sick leave and i've got 
I'm supposed to be back at work tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day shift. Um, while I'm waiting for all these drugs to kick in that I got prescribed this morning. Um, not due back, at, I won't be back at work till Sunday now. I've got two days sick leave, so. Um, hopefully I'll get some decent sleep by then. Uh, but I think that's about it. Uh, just scouring around, looking at what else I've got on my desk and bits and pieces. And I think that's about it. For the chat for today, I will say, Gems, thank you for joining. Comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, let me know what you what you think about what I've achieved for the for the month. Um, and any recommendations? Oh no, there is something else. I had a package arrive. There we go. I had a package arrive. Well, I've had lots of packages arrive, but. Does it actually say who sent it? No. I have uh, I have a package arrived. A fairly big package. Two diamond paintings. Smaller. Something else. So that's something that I have to unbox and share with you. So there's some diamond paintings to be um, unboxed and shared. Um, and you can tell it's not wrapped up in gift wrap paper, so it's not diamond shop. <laughs> um, now it's actually Create Love Share, so you know that uh, an Australian company has uh, gotten a couple of diamond paintings from them. So, um, what else? There was something. I don't know whether I mentioned it before. I've seen some videos out where um, One Day Savings Diamond Painting Company um, they contacted me to see if I wanted to do a um, video for them and I went yeah sure and they sent me some information and then I went got, went through their website and went yeah no not doing it um, I don't have when I, I looked through there was some artwork that was belong that was licensed artwork to other companies and quite frankly i'm not going to turn around and go right through their website and go this is not this is license this is license this is license it's just um my decision is that i actually won't um do a video for them so problem solved <laughs> But yeah, if you like, there is quite a few people are doing the one day savings videos, and they do look like some of the stuff is good. Um, but I decided that I wasn't going to because they have licensed artwork on their on their page. So, but I mean, you can go you go on there, have a look, check it out. If you recognise that it's licensed, don't buy it. Buy something else. Um, yeah, that old chestnut rare and it's hit up again. Or still, I don't know. Um, it's quite interesting to see the side of licensed artwork and then you go looking at the cricket stuff. Uh, and with cricket, some of the products that you do on cricket, the fonts are actually licensed, so you can't use them for this, that, or the other. You know, it's copyright and license. You got to be really careful with cricket stuff that you sell as well, apparently. So, um, you know, just a font that you get off cricket is not necessarily a font that you can use and sell. I think it is. I don't know. I've still got to look more into that. Um, free fonts are okay. I can use free fonts without any issue by the sound of it. But yeah, we'll wait and see. And uh, on that note, I will say comment, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And uh, bye for now. <laughs>